What you can see from here is the natural beauty, but this has a concrete impact on the homes and other properties in the area. This pull truck project alone will protect around $25 million worth of property. Workers with the Army Corps of Engineers are staying busy this summer with nine levy projects planned across Western Washington. We view this as a return to our normal operating tempo. After each rock is laid and habitat is restored, this work along the Snohomish River will help to protect farmland and homes near the marshland levee. These projects are so important because when we get those big flood events in the fall and the spring, um, these levees provide flood risk reduction to communities in the surrounding area. The connected Pilchuck River also threatens properties, but another project repairing the Pilchuck levee will get it back to pre-flood protection level. Both projects are funded 80% by the Corps and 20% by local partners. This will all be grass seeded. Program manager Janet Curran says these projects will also foster habitats for local wildlife. We'll be planting native willows into the rock of the levee and those willows over time will grow and provide shade and organic matter to the stream. We've also replaced on the levee face some of the trees and shrubs that had to be removed in order to do the construction. Environmental protection now a core component of each project. The advancements that you're going to see is our integration with environmental, you know, initiatives. Where possible, repairs are done after juvenile fish leave for the year, but before adults return to spawn. Along with the work underway in Snohomish County, there will be projects in Whatcom, King, and Skagit counties. They're hoping to have them complete before fall flood season. Reporting along the Pilchuck River, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.